Hey guys, it's Solibai here. So today I'm going to show you an interesting way of creating a fillet. Here I have a simple model. On the top surface, I created a speed line with a specified offset distance from the edge. On the side of the model, I have also created a speed line, which is at an angle to the horizontal. So my intention here is to create a smoothly blended fillet from the speed line at the top to the speed line at the side. So the first thing that comes to mind might be to uh, delete away all these faces and start to create a boundary surface that sweeps all the way around the model. So you can certainly do that, but in this particular case, we can achieve the same effect with the standard filler operation. So let's start the filler operation. And select the face filler option. So at this point, you will be prompted to select two adjacent faces. So select the top face, watch out for the prompt on the right hand click, and select the adjacent face. So next, go to the fillet parameters. And select whole line from the drop down menu. We will be using the speed lines as guides to guide the flow of the fillet. So pick on the speed lines. Now at this point you might notice that the preview fails. That's because the profile is still set as circular. In this case, because of the angle nature of the speed line, it is impossible to have a circular profile. So go to the drop down menu. and pick on Curvature Continuous. You can see that the preview works this time around. So click OK. As you can see, we have a smoothly blended fillet. Alright, so that's all for today's video. I will see you again in the next one.